Hello, I'm Socrates Johnson, MD, and welcome to our Let's Play of Deus Ex Human Revolution. I will be your guide through this game. So, uh, as to what's happened recently, we broke into the towers leading up to the upper level of the Pengu, and we're currently in the Taiyang Medical Corporate Tower, where we've just found some video evidence that suggests that Megan Reed is actually alive and in custody somewhere. Um, so we now have to, uh, well, figure out who's behind all this and uh, what is our objective for the moment. Confront Zhao in the penthouse. She is the CEO, presumably, the face of it all. Oh good. Lasers. Mm, this is going to be tense. Okay. Okay, it's going to take all my training. That was good. That worked. This is a really, really poor security system. Whoever designed this should be fired. That didn't stop. That didn't stop me at all. I wasn't even using all of my special cybernetic abilities. Ugh. That's really unfortunate. I know what the hell are we doing? Uh, clearly, we have to go that way, but. Let's check out some of this archive stuff. Do some hack work. Um, some, like some hack work like that 300 movie that's coming out. Alright. Alright, we're good. I think we're good. Basically, some backstory as to how Arnie Van Bruggen escaped from Taeyong's um, stuff from their notice. Let's see, open. Lots of rooms with one computer inside. Great. before we get there and it won't. Alright. Access granted. That is a scam from Nigeria. Great. Well, that was worth our time. Doesn't look like anyone's suspicious, so maybe we can just talk to people around here. It's in there. Yeah, the, the soldier didn't seem to care that we were around. Maybe it's just uh, they assume that no one's gonna be trouble around here. Actually, let's. I don't like that. That did not go well. Well, there's going to be plenty of places to hide. Don't move! 
Ah! I pressed the wrong button. Let's just get out of there. Well, that was, um... That was an awkward little situation now, wasn't it? But at least the alarm didn't get set off, because that guy was so incompetent about... about triggering it. Okay. Okay. Calm down. Everything's right as rain again. You can check out all this nonsense that got us in trouble in the first place. Child. And violence. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, it's the security hub. This might have been useful a moment back. <laughs> uh, I'm so bad at this game sometimes. Access granted. And it's absolutely useless. Great. Well, at least we knocked out some guards. What is a good thing? Seems plenty more. Lock the secretary. Ah. Stuff we've already hacked into. Just gotta avoid that camera. In general, cameras are not particularly suspicious, but, uh... This would appear to be the door we want to go into. Yeah. Over here, it's just some computers. We've done enough hacking. Alright. Alright, so security is right there, so we got to be careful. Got a neat sort of robotic hand looking thing here. Sort of like Terminator 2. I'm going to activate Cloak to get by. Get as far this way as possible just to avoid triggering anyone in the security office to my uh, location. So we got this camera. It looks like we need to get through this door and to hack through it. But if we hack through it, that camera is going to see us and get really unhappy. So let's see if we can just... You can see it's already suspicious of us. But not so much. Maybe we can just deactivate it here. Very, very slowly on this level five. Access and we got it. Inactive. That did not help. We could actually physically destroy it. I don't know about that. It doesn't look like we have an option to do that. I don't think this computer activates it. So we have the elevator access code. Well, we already have the access code to the door. Ah, okay. Yeah, we made it through with only suspicious. So we got the access card from the computer, and, uh, yeah, well now we have access to this private elevator, it appears. Went up to Zhao Yanru's apartment. It was nice view of the Pangu, the upper level at the very least. Yes, yeah, man. Hey! Some bitch. Ari, you're alive! <laughs> Just thought you'd want to know. I survived. Well, your uh, portrait looks really, uh, the hotel. really and I'm bad. I'm sailing away from this shithole as we speak. All because of you. You want to thank me? Forget you ever had this frequency. I got a better idea. 
I'm looking at your bank account right now, and you know, sorry freely I'd have pay you more. Van Bruggen? No need to thank me, man. Just enjoy it. <laughs> well, got some money. Some illicit money from the hacker. Go up. Get a little loading lag. That's new. Alright. We have a picture of the penguin. Someone's alarmed. Somehow. I have a big open space. And what do big open spaces mean in this game? It usually means we're gonna have to fight a whole bunch of something. And be screwed. So far, it doesn't look too bad. Some sort of blueprints. Computer. Oh, the job's personal computer. This sounds like something that will have interesting material on it. The purchase gives Kyle a significant increase in share. This is Eliza Hassan, according to Access granted. Yeah. So they're obviously doing hostile takeovers or sabotage of other companies. And some personal correspondence between Ari Van Bruggen and Charlie Van Bruggen. And uh, here we go. Nice frill, very Elizabethan. Nice place you got here. Ah! Please! I wasn't. I didn't mean to. Where's Megan Reed? Reed? I. I don't know. Stop lying, Sal. I know you came after the team. I know you're out to destroy Sarah Industries. Sarah? I also know you're working with that son of a bitch who left me to die. So where's Megan? No, no, you got it wrong. You think I'm behind it all, but I'm not. I'm just like you. The hired help. You're the head of a billion dollar mega corporation. And you think that will protect me. But it doesn't. These men. They're bigger than Sarah, bigger than Tayo. I'm nothing compared to their ambitions. What are you talking about? Sarah knows. Ask him. He thought he could protect his staff with some dermal GBLs. But these men, they control global interests at a whim. One called the Picus, and the implants couldn't be heard. I thought they'd sent two here to kill me. You've got to help me. Please. You've made it this far. Surely you can protect me. Surely. Surely you can protect me. Uh, men never fail to underestimate women. Well, what the hell did you do? That was kind of stupid. Entire building's on alert. Panic room. She's got a goddamn panic room. Yeah, well, so do I. Get about it right now. Get to the hangar bay. Fast. Well, that didn't go as well as it could have And it looks like... Three... A lot. Well, we have this cloaking system. I might try that. Yeah, I know they're alarmed. Much better than having to fight them all. So, 
that is that is too many to take out with minor with uh, hand to hand techniques and uh, our lone gas grenade and our nine rounds with a tranquilizer rifle. So, uh, oh man, that was tense. That was super tense. Well, I'm beginning to wonder if this is the place where I need to be going. I might have just forestalled it by going the wrong way. Regarding that cutscene with Zhao, that was a very smart thing that Adam Jensen did. Not being so suspicious of her. Although we did get some information. The fact that Pikus is involved. The Pikus, that being the news station, uh, which we've been listening to basically all game. So. Do to do. Alright, we're back up in the alarm area. Even though they know I ran out, some of them were shooting at me. But, uh, I'll let that go. Oh, different elevator we had to take. Great. Jensen, I'm coming to pick you up. You anywhere near their hangar bay? I'm heading there now. Great. Get those bay doors open or this rescue attempt ain't gonna happen. Smooth operator! That's me. Notorious. do not look like our friends. And that's the wrong way. I wonder if this counts towards the not setting off any alarms achievement that you can get. Because this is just sort of a scripted sequence. Yep, not that way. Oh. Yeah, we do not want to make those bots angry. Okay, I have to get over to that corner. Maybe that corner. Jump over the railing. Just kind of slip on by. They're not very observant. In general, for all the security systems in this game, they're not very smart about recognizing threats. And, it's, well, it's to our advantage. I do have EMP grenades if I really need them, but I would rather not use them. In terms of that large group of soldiers who ambush you as you're coming out of Zhao's office, the first time I played through, that was a bitch because I had to shoot them all, and really a 12 on 1 gunfight is not the funnest thing ever. Madame Zhao's itinerary. Mm, that's important to me. So maybe this is the security office up here. Just do the regular combat roll action. Over and over again. There don't appear to be any humans around, which is for the best. For them, at least. Security hub. That's what I want. Tense. Hack. 
Captain Hack Sparrow, that's me. <laughs> Yeah, we got this. For a large and complex one, they gave you a lot of rewards and a lot of time. And a lot of uh, extra stuff for me. Okay, that didn't actually help me at all. Okay, fine, fine. What do they want me to do? Well, I have to disable the security box. That is clear. Maybe I need more clearance with that. With uh, the hacking before I can do these sorts of things. But uh, let's see. I, let's, uh, let's try grenading them, since that's what we've got. Mm, it's aggravating. Could get a rocket launcher. I'd rather not. Blow anything up. Uh, let's try this out. <laughs> Yeah, well that's, uh, one of them. And that one. Merry Christmas. Awesome. That was simpler than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. I'm just trying to follow the mini-map, and it's not perfect. What's going on? Is it a glitch or something? What's... Hmm. Maybe there's a radio I have to... Or there's a door button. There's probably a door button that I needed to open. Is it this printer? No. Oh, there it is. That's me. And I can ghost. And it's very done. Awesome. Jensen, time to hightail it back to Detroit. Get in. We're not going to Detroit. What? We're not going to Detroit. We're going to Montreal. Damn right you will. Conveniently. Where Idos Montreal, who made the game, is located. It appears we're going to have to break into the Pikus News Station headquarters and find something out. Are you sure about this? I mean, it's not some tiny cable station you're infiltrating. Sal mentioned that Eliza and a phone call to Pikus. Put them together, it has to mean Eliza Kassan is in on this. You don't think that's a bit of a leap? The world's most famous news anchor working with a mercenary hit squad? We can argue the fine points later. Set me down on the tower. I'll get in from the Operation Badass. Jensen is Pritchard. Molly tells me you want Eliza Kassan's location. If it's not too much trouble. It's not. I bypassed the firewall easily and I pulled up a 3D model of their floor plan. Her office is in the tower. Room 404. On my way. Alright. Well, room 404 is where we need to be. But for now, since we've accomplished so much already, I'm going to sign off and I will see you later.